Oh my gosh, have y'all heard about this deck? The Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. I had not heard about this and I feel like I might be the last to the party. <laughs> but my sister from another mister, Rochelle Raquel, had told me about this deck, The Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot, when we were uh, starting and discussing our podcast, The Numinous Nymphs, which you can find down below where we explore all things tarot, witchcraft, divination, sex, uh, decolonization, all the good jazz. It's going to be down below. But she was showing me this and I had to pick it up myself. So if you have not heard of this or you are wanting a first look at the major arcana well you are in the right place if this is your first time here i'm steph prism and we are all about new age personal development on this channel so please if you like this content think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get updated when i put out new videos so we're doing an unboxing today slightly unboxing i just have to open this but hopefully i don't um cut myself <laughs> All right, so this is beautiful. This box, the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot, it is by Lindsay Silverman, I believe that's correct. Um, and on the back it says, connect to intuition, delve into nature, cross the hidden veil, ooh, embrace the universe and unfold your myth. And I absolutely adore that. The actual reason that I fell in love with this when Rochella and I were discussing our podcast and doing the first episode was because we're called the Numinous Nymphs. And this actually has, instead of a princess of wands, I believe, um, it has a nymph, like nymph of wands, swords, coins, pentacles, you know, that goodness. Okay, so here we are. I love the box. I think it's a great, it's, ooh, look at this hand on the inside. Okay. It comes with a companion guide. Oh, the companion guide is super cute. It actually says, pull from the stars and trust what you receive. Isn't that the truth? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So it's all like black and white with the periop, you know, that is our aesthetic too, which by the way, we are burning the astral awakening candle. And this is a limited spring edition uh, for wishes and traveling to the astral plane through, quant through the quantum realm. So here we are. I love this. It's super simple. It doesn't have the photos in here, so I'm excited to show it to you. Um, it's just black and white. It is a good size. It's a good size deck. It can fit in my little hands. You guys know if this is, you know, if you've been here before, you know I've got little hands. It fits in my hands really well, and it has this beautiful, like, kind of, like, polka dot, but also just galaxy in general look. And for the back, and then it has this kind of really gorgeous, like, empire gold. It is shiny, but it also has this, like, resemblance of a matte shine, which I think is really beautiful and very different. Um, and if this is not your first time here, you know that I like to show the Major Arcana and save the rest so that you have something to enjoy when you pick it up yourself. So I will put that all down in the below, down in the below, <laughs> down below, so you can check it out yourself. But let's just sh jump straight into these beautiful cards. safe to say that these are so beautiful. <laughs> Let's just give a big thank you to Lindsay Silverman for putting these out into the universe and into our earthly realm. These are amazing. <laughs> uh, I love too that they have kind of different uh, cards to them. So instead of the fool, we have potential. Instead of the magician, we have the witch. Yes. Um, 
instead, oh, I really loved instead of the world, we have the universe. And I just think that that's such a, it's really brought in tarot right back into, or right into uh, this age right here. It's very modernized. Uh, and it's also, what, it, what I really like about it is I think there's a lot of information. There's a lot of information that's gonna speak to your subconscious mind. So when you're looking for these messages, you know, you have plenty of symbolism to go off of and really just, you can go off of the companion guide, which I'm sure is fabulous. I haven't gotten to read it all the way through. Obviously, I'm just opening it. But uh, I do believe that it's probably amazing if, if they're anything like these cards. <laughs> and, but, you know, at the same time, you have the chance to really take in this imagery and see what spirit has to tell you. And I'm really excited because I am actually going to use these right now for the tarot spread that Rochella and I had created for our first episode of the Numinous Nymphs podcast where we talk about the spring equinox, what spring has to give us um, and provide for us. And really it's just an episode about you know, the courage to bloom, which is what it's called. Uh, this is going, I'm super excited. If you by chance use these cards, if you get these, which you should, you can get the information down below and you use our spread. It's on our Instagram. Mine's Steph Prism. Hers is Rochelle Raquel. Please DM us and tell us, you know, if you feel called to share, of course, it's very, it's a personal practice, but if you feel called to share, we would love to hear any message that's come through, especially with this deck. This is such a beautiful deck. I'm just super excited to see what you guys think. Ah! And if you felt like this video brought a little light to your life, give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. But most importantly, do not forget to share the magic. You are worthy of all that you desire.